morning guys and welcome to our new year's video this video will let you know about our plants for this year um, of course part of the plants is to restore this building also we'll need to plant some more trees which we bought just after christmas and we'll talk about one more little project uh, for which we will need to go to spain probably in a few days time and get some building materials for it. So stick with us. Hello everyone, we are Andrus and Giedre. We spend years and years dreaming and planning on how we can quit and leave boring and meaningless city life behind and live more sustainable, healthier, slower paced life in the countryside. And in 2022, our dreams came true. We sold our home in the UK and set off to sunny central Portugal. It wasn't plain sailing from the beginning. Buying our off-grid homestead cost us a lot of patience and time. Follow our journey from the very beginning and we really hope it will inspire someone else to make that choice as life is just too short for nine to five work to pay bills routine. And yes, we do regret one thing about our journey. It's a fact we haven't started it earlier. So this is the place where we bring all the soil from our foundations of the uh, extension of the, our house. The plan was to make it level. I don't know if the camera shows. It's a little bit like a, like a ditch here. All the water when it rains comes from uh, up the hill and basically goes in there. We diverted most of it basically to the other side of the property. But um, I think even, even this spot is lower than the road. That would be the perfect place where we can build our uh, wood storage slash tractor garage. We haven't even finished pruning all of our olive trees and we got lots of lots of off cuts. I mean, it just um, makes no sense seeing how the, um, the wood is just basically rots under the rain. Right guys, I just gave you an update for our weekly plan. And uh, now I just want to show you what we're going to do today. Uh, just after Christmas, we went to our favorite agriculture shop in El Cain's. And uh, we bought, I think, six citrus trees. Uh, they are orange, lime and... Um, Clementines and also we bought one pomegranate tree um, and two small olive trees those here so uh, I know that in our summer videos I've I told you guys that we're gonna be planting lots and lots of trees when the autumn will come well, the autumn came, we were so busy with olive harvest, with grape harvest, wine making, uh, planting the um, garlic, beans and all sort of stuff. And uh, that time just gone. I mean, it's probably a little bit too late to plant it now, uh, but uh, I think still the trees will have a better chance to survive. Uh, if we're gonna plant them like in springtime when it's already getting warm um, I know the olive tree is definitely gonna be okay uh, The citrus trees we are going to cover them with that um, agrofilm uh, You can have a look on our video. I think three videos back we showed it uh, when we bought it and uh, we cover all our citrus trees because most of the nights now uh, the temperature drops below below zero on our property so yeah let's go and plant some trees hi um so we had an experiment last year 
having planting potatoes underneath the hay and topping up, topping up, topping up. So experiment is finished because potatoes had a frostbite. It's too cold. And I did have one little tiny potato. <laughs> potato. <laughs> so here you go. It was worth it. <laughs> So the first trees we're going to plant today are Galega variety, small olive trees. Watering the grass. <laughs> And I would like to say thank you for people commenting on our orange tree planting video. We were planted uh, other orange trees uh, just a couple of weeks ago. Uh, it was uh, really nice to know that orange... Gah, what? You want to be planted? Oh. That orange or any other citrus trees, when you plant them, guys, uh, you need to put the manure very close to the uh, topsoil because the their roots are just on the surface, somewhere here, and uh, yeah, well, in this in this ditch I dug, I, I put some manure at the bottom, I'll put a tree in, and then I'll put some more manure around the roots. This is the variety which have spikes. You see guys, I just nearly pinched myself, <laughs> it's like a rose. Oh. 
Loads of. Loads of roots, yeah. And they are on the top. Oh, it's like a ball mm -hmm. shape. And this costed us how much? Is the price right? Uh, no, I think all the trees were yeah. between six and nine euros. I think, yeah, the I olive, think. olive trees were the cheapest. They were five, five ninety-five, I think, mm -hmm. or something. I think this is between nine, eight and nine euros. This one. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Okay. Water. Some lovely horse manure. Finally, Andrews trust me to do something, planting. G deserves to try it as well. <laughs> it's a new year, you know. <laughs> yeah, it's always you who done it. And what tree is this? Another tangerine. This is the second pomegranate tree we're planting. We planted one when we just arrived last year in March, but unfortunately it died in the summer. I think it was not a proper place planting it because there were lots of rocks underneath and it was planted very shallow. So I think this will do much better. Okay, we came to the gate of our, our property um, and uh, G said that during the summer <laughs> she comes here to water her flowers every, every evening so, and she wants us to plant, just to do a little experiment and to plant one of the orange trees. Just right where you stand actually. Here? Yes. It's gonna look beautiful. Okay. And maybe in the future it will provide shade for your flowers. Yay! 
obviously, that's why I was saying about it. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> you will be. I think it's perfect spot for that. Hello guys, uh, it's the next day, we didn't finish what we want to finish yesterday, um, start to rain and it was raining basically all night and uh, until now, basically still raining now. We went to Spain today uh, to buy some materials for our shed project, which I just showed you at the beginning of the video. And um, we got basically everything we need. Uh, I purchased bricks, uh, a pallet of cement, and uh, roof panels. Same panels as we used for our caravan cover. Uh, surprisingly, they went down in price. You wouldn't see that in our days, no. Um, also, we still need to buy some sand, some gravel, which we're gonna order from our local builder's yard. And pretty much we're ready to go. So in the next video, we're probably gonna start our shed project. Which will be very handy as well. Um, that project is quite sort of connected to our main uh, barn restoration project because we'll need some space to um, to put all the stuff to clear the bar completely to change the floors and uh, stuff like that so i'll see you in the next video and thank you very much for watching thank you very much for your lovely comments and uh, yeah 
just very excited. New year, new beginning, new projects. See you later, guys.